Hello beautiful people. Before I begin my Amazon dupe video, I just want to show you guys something that I've been starting. I purchased these trees, these nail trees at wholesale. And um, these I love, I love them and I'll show you why. Because what I do first is I've done two already. I match up the size of my nail and then once I find a match, for instance, this one and this one, that one was too big, um, I, I'll just demonstrate. I put glue on and I haven't prepped my nails or, all, or anything, so I haven't filed them, done my cuticles, but um, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, yes, this one will definitely fit. So I put it on the nail, making sure I hold it down. Wait a minute. That one I didn't really, well. This one's gonna be a little bit off, but I'm trying to rush this video. My husband's about to weed whack and I don't want the sound to distract when I do my Amazon dupe video. So I hold it down for about 15 seconds and once I feel that it's properly affixed, I twist this off and then of course I'll file it later. So now when I do my other hand, I know which ones fit and I think my hands are pretty symmet symmetrical as far as my finger size. So I know when I go to the other side of the tree, I know which ones to use. And these are so easy and they last so long. I would have to say a good two weeks. Um, but I'm actually making kits with two sets of 10 colors. So I'll have 10 colors and two, two tree sets of each. And I'm gonna include nail glue, a nail filer, and um, I'm making those as little uh, sets because I know a lot of us are trying to do our own DIY nails and hair. But I've always done my own nails. Once in a while I've treated myself. But I just find that I've become so... Sometimes when a nail breaks, I have to go back for an appointment. It's embarrassing because you don't want to walk around with like 10, 10 nails and 10 off. So anyhow, this was always an easy fix for me and inexpensive. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'll be selling my sets on um, my eBay and my Etsy store, which I'll have linked below. Now on to my Amazon dupe video. Okay, I'm back and look at how they look. I must have taken maybe four minutes to do these. And of course, I could put like a clear polish on them, but I filed them down a little bit because I like the coffin look better than the pointy, but. Okay, to begin with my first Amazon dupe. Now guys, I'm not savvy with names of the actual designers, uh, particular types, but uh, I know Gucci, Birkin, and Chanel. To begin, I got this Gucci dupe. Um, see, it has the classic B, and it has the adjustable chain. And let me tell you, this is sturdy. It's not plastic painted with metallic paint. This is metal, and it is sturdy. And it is just so super cute. And it doesn't have, like, the Gucci logo on it, but it does have the B. So let me... Oh, yes, I remember. Okay. Well, all you do is push that button to open it up, and it has a zipper pocket here, a flap here, a nice sturdy divider, and a little pocket in here. And oh, is this open? No, it's just for sex. But this is super nice. I got this on Amazon. Um, they no longer sell it because I checked again because I wanted to get one in red. And um, yeah, this was about 30 something dollars. But if I do see it available, I will have the link. I don't know how to do that. I have to figure that out as well. But here is this, 30 something dollars. And I buy these little bags because the little bags are in now because when we weren't in a pandemic, my husband and I used to go to the casinos and stay overnight and, you know, get dressed up at night, go to nice dinners. And I always like to have a nice purse, not my big mommy teacher purse. So. This was my first purchase. Love it. And I love the patent leather shiny with the rhinestones. On to the next. Yes, we know this iconic image, Chanel, Coco Chanel. Okay, it came in this. Now, apparently, when I ordered it, I thought it was a dupe. It was on Amazon. It was not Prime. But this, um, I think the difference between dupes and replicas are dupes are... Um, it's going on the same idea, but it's not supposed to pretend to be what it's not. A replica is trying to be what it shouldn't be. And I think that's what I got here because it took a month to get. So it came from China, even though it was being sold on Amazon. And I didn't know that they could do that. But here it is. It is 
the Chanel, don't ask me which one, I don't know the difference between all the Chanel bags, but you could use either the chain like this, or you could double it up. Again, sturdy chain. Um, it has the lambskin look. Very, very hard and durable and sturdy. Um, this was very, very well made. And I believe this was $40. I don't like that. I, I really didn't want it to have this, but it does. So anyhow, you push the two buttons on the side like that. <laughs> and I love, I just, just everything about this. And it has the red in, inside with a zipper. And of course it has the Chanel logo. That's what I was trying to, I lose my words. Um, which I didn't know that this would, see the image didn't show it like that. The image had it as a black bag and it, this was all flush. There was no CC. So I just found that to be, yeah, and it even says Chanel here too. Huh. Well anyhow, hey. <laughs> If I could sport it, I will. Again, a casino night when that should ever happen. We don't know. We shall see. And it came really beautifully packaged. And this I've been checking every single day to see if the seller's on there because it took forever to get this and they're nowhere to be found. So I think what they do is these uh, sellers on Amazon, they come on for a little bit, get the buyers, then disappear because they can get in trouble for selling stuff like that. And now I will introduce you to my last one. I love it. Ba -ba yes, it looks like a Birkin, but it's not. It's huge. It's actually meant to be a laptop bag, which I do use it for that since I'm doing a lot of um, home virtual teaching because obviously that's, that's what we have to do these days. So I always travel with my laptop. But it also, you guys all know, I'm into big bags, so this fit the bell. So I got the look and... Um, and I love it. It's stylish and sturdy. So it's supposed to look like a Birkin, but it is a dupe and it has the key inside. I did not test to see if it will actually fit, but it has the same exterior. And I have this jam packed because as I said, this has now become my everyday work slash everyday bag. Do I go into ShopRite with this? No, I do not because A, no one would believe I am actually food shopping with a Birkin bag, number one, and number two, it's so darn heavy. It is really, really thick. I also put my little purse charm that I made over here. But just to show you, I'm not gonna do what's in my bag video, but just to show you how much it could fit. Look at this. It is unbelievable. And while I'm in here, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this already, but this was another dupe and for Louis Vuitton, and I use this. This is what I usually do. I take this bag um, with me sometimes or not, and I usually just carry around this Louis Vuitton dupe. And um, I just, you know, carry it like this. And in it, I have everything. My license, my credit cards, my cash, my... Um, everything so and i love this it's made by daisy rose she no longer sells on amazon but you can get her stuff on walmart.com and this was just 23 dollars. okay so this was my amazon dupe video um not very professionally done because i am who i am mom teacher wife friend daughter all right guys i'll be putting up another video on my wish haul so stay tuned for that as well take care guys Bye.